this is Tristan at Mahalo, and we are at the Hip Cooks Cooking School in West Los Angeles. And today I'm going to show you how to make a hamburger in a skillet. Not all of us have the luxury to have a barbecue, and certainly when it's winter out, I don't want to go outside and use my barbecue. So, skillet. The key to a good hamburger is to start with good meat. A good hamburger really doesn't have much more than salt and pepper to season it. So if you can start off with a ground sirloin with maybe a little added fat from ground chuck, um, that would be a great, great thing to do. So I have about half a pound of ground beef in this bowl. And I'll add a sprinkle, half a teaspoon of salt, maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt, and some ground pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. Okay. Give it a good mix with a fork or with your hand. To keep the meat tender and the hamburger tender, you don't want to over mix. So be gentle when you're mixing. Be gentle when you're creating a patty. Treat it tenderly. Get that pan heated up. About medium high. I grew up with skillet burgers, and my mom always sprinkled a little salt in the pan. So I'm gonna do what mom does. We learn from mom. This thing, this beef, has enough fat in it, so we don't really need to put oil in there. So just the salt will be a good thing. All right. Making patties. So that half a pound is good for about two patties. Again, be gentle. I tend to start with a flatter patty because when it gets, when it touches the heat, it will shrink up and when the fat melts away, it will shrink up as well. So if you start flatter, you won't end up with a big fat thick burger. If you want a super big fat burger, then start with a fat patty. Okay, so I've got my patty, nice and round, pretty thin for now, and my pan is heating up on medium high with the salt. So go ahead, place your hamburger in the center of the pan and you want to hear that sizzle. Now it's going to sit there for about three minutes. You can figure three minutes per side for rare, four minutes per side for medium rare, and five minutes per side for well done. Just to be certain, I'll use this meat thermometer that I'll put right in the middle after about three minutes to make sure that it is at least 155 degrees. These red burners are something that we use at Hip Cook's Cooking School because they move around easily and that makes it nice for our students who are around this island to get the opportunity to have hands-on and cooking over the burner. They work exactly like your burners at home. Okay, three minutes on the other side, and we will be in heaven. So I'm using an instant thermometer to check the temperature of the hamburger. You don't want to leave it in the hamburger. Just go ahead and stick it right into the center. Make sure that the bottom isn't touching the bottom of the pan because then it will register the heat in the pan, and we want to register the heat in the middle of the burger. Okay, almost at 155. We have a few more minutes. So if you have a splash guard to put over your burger, that would be great too, because if you can see a lot of the grease is coming up off of the burger, which is dirty in the kitchen, if you mind, put a guard over it and that will help prevent a mess. So again, three minutes for rare per side, four minutes per side for medium rare, and five minutes per side for well done. If there are any other dishes you'd like to see me prepare, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com. And in the meantime, check out our other videos.